Finally, after more than three years, my big workbench has been freed up again. I still need to find another place for the uh, drill press because the workbench is too high to uh, make it really usable. Or maybe I can sell it and put the money towards the uh, milling machine fund. Today marks the uh, three year anniversary of my uh, first ever YouTube video. I can uh, still remember it clearly, probably because I just uh, rewatched it. It was, it actually still is, a video about this old lathe. And it wasn't something particular special. It uh, was rather dark, without any talking, and had a uh, lame piece of background music that I found on a uh, royalty free website. Still, over the years it has racked up almost uh, 4000 views and that is uh, more than last year's uh, remake. And uh, that's proof that an original is usually better than a cheap redo. Don't worry, this anniversary I'm not going to try another remake. This year I'll actually start doing some work on this lathe and try to reassemble this spindle. Maybe so I can uh, sell the lathe a little easier. But I haven't made my final decision about the fate of this uh, machine. I'm filming this so more knowledgeable people can uh, point out stupid mistakes or perhaps give me some advice. So you can expect a rather boring video. Uh, consider yourself warned. The uh, spindle and also the uh, bronze bearings are uh, rather rough on this machine. Not much I can do about that. But I am going to put the spindle in my uh, Chinese lathe and uh, stone off these uh, sharp edges. Alright, let's do this. Hopefully things will stay in place. No power! That should be better. I'm using a piece of hard Arkansas stone to knock off those uh, sharp edges. I have no idea how far I should uh, take this. Uh, I'm just winging it. Hopefully it will be just right. But I wouldn't uh, put any bets on that. This seems to be the uh, worst area. A little bit more. It doesn't look pretty. There's a bit of damage here from when I uh, took the uh, spindle apart and it will take forever to uh, stone it off so I'm going to use the uh, Dremel. This surface here is for the gear that uh, drives the uh, lead screw and it was a real bitch to get it off. If I uh, remember correctly this surface here is where the uh, cone pulley rides when the uh, lathe is in back gear. So I will also give this a light stoning. There's some rust starting to form. I, uh, I believe these are all the parts that make up the uh, spindle assembly well most of them anyway 
I looked at some old photos and did some puzzling. Most of it seems to be uh, coming back, but uh, you really shouldn't uh, wait more than three years to reassemble an old spindle. Let's see. I've got the uh, two uh, bearing caps and uh, the nuts for it. Got to be careful with these because they are imperial, maybe even Whitworth. Um, I also found the key that was missing from the uh, spindle. That'll save some time. And this here all goes together and is the uh, thrust bearing construction. And it goes on the back of the spindle. I'm not sure what these uh, two bolts are for. Maybe they belong to something else. And I'm pretty sure these two rings here belong to the lead screw. And of course between these uh, two spindle bearings go the bull gear and uh, the cone pulley. And this here is that annoying uh, gear I was talking about that uh, drives the lead screw. Oh, and here is a uh, broken off tooth for this uh, gear. There you go. And I found that at the bottom of the uh, headstock. And that's where I also found this little cap that goes on the oiler. I've decided I'm not going to reassemble the uh, complete spindle. Not today because I need to uh, find some new felt that uh, goes in the uh, split bearing here. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find it today. At least not if I want to uh, finish this uh, video. So I'm not going to install the uh, ball gear the cone pulley and the uh, bitch gear and for now I will try and reuse the felt that should be fine for a little while and if it uh, disintegrates I'll uh, run it without that should be fine for some uh, run out testing and I don't have a motor anyway here's a close look at the uh, tapered bronze bearings and just like the spindle these are full of uh, wear grooves these should be uh, completely scraped, but unfortunately that's not uh, something I can do. I assume these uh, rings here are for adjusting the play, and that seems like a safe bet because uh, these are uh, split bearings, so they can be adjusted. The rear bearing has only one adjustment ring, but the um, thrust bearing assembly screws on to the other side. Um, when I took these apart, there were some pieces of shim stock on top of the uh, front bearing. Not sure what uh, those were exactly for, but maybe for uh, forcing the uh, spindle in alignment, or perhaps to uh, put a little extra force on the bearing to take up some uh, play. I guess now I need to do a little cleanup, and then I should be ready to uh, reassemble this thing. Well, I'm pretty much done uh, cleaning things up, and I guess I could have done a better job but there's just not enough time to do a complete uh, de-rusting and uh, slap on a little paint. I uh, stoned these surfaces on uh, the bearing caps and uh, did the same on the headstock. I also cleaned up this surface and there was some uh, galling. It uh, prevents the uh, spindle from moving forward and it's the washer that rides on here. And it also had some galling, but I think I can uh, flip it around so I can use the undamaged uh, surface. And to notice the little hole here, that's for the uh, pin on this ring here. And that's there to uh, prevent this uh, washer from uh, stopping. I think I can uh, reassemble the spindle mostly on the uh, workbench and then uh, lay it back in the headstock. That uh, wouldn't be possible if I uh, was also going to install the bull gear and the uh, pulley. Alright, here we go. Both these uh, bearings have a uh, keyway that fits in a slot 
uh, below in the uh, bearing seat. Yeah, there it is. I dropped my little piece of Arkansas stone. Now there's even uh, less left. So I got to find a uh, replacement soon. I need to uh, get this ring on. It slips uh, right into place. A lot of play. Wasn't expecting that. I thought I had to hammer it in. I'm pretty sure that the uh, damage here was caused by the uh, ball race from the uh, truss bearing let me show you here's the ball race and the ball bearing and that's a pretty loose fit to have caused uh, the damage now the end cap goes on here I'm not sure if that's the uh, correct terminology. I could also call it a uh, thrust bearing housing. Whatever you want. And here's what uh, confuses me. There are four set screws around the uh, circumference of this uh, end cap and uh, two of them say oil in German. Öl. Öl. And that one has a number but uh, it might be unrelated. These uh, set screw holes, they uh, line up with the uh, ball bearing race. But the uh, four set screws that I took out of the uh, end cap are way too short to reach the uh, ball race. And you don't see any damage on the ball race from the uh, set screws. Also there was a lot of crud in the uh, set screw holes so they definitely haven't uh, been sitting against this uh, ball race. But I think they uh, should have and that would uh, stop the uh, ball race here from spinning. They uh, replaced one of the set screws and I think this is metric looking at the uh, damage on the thread these are uh, imperial and of course I don't have any longer set screws that are uh, imperial so I think I need to order some or bore out the uh, end cap and uh, re-thread it with something uh, imperial but uh, what do you guys think should this uh, ball race be uh, fixed to the end cap and uh, stopped uh, from spinning freely I think it should, but I'm not 100% sure. This is the uh, washer that stops the uh, spindle from moving forward. This is actually the uh, used side, but I'm going to use the other side. The uh, locking ring with the uh, pin. and another locking ring to uh, fix everything in place I will uh, leave this a bit loose till I have uh, installed the uh, bearing end caps
I cleaned the uh, nuts up and some acid and uh, they came out uh, looking nice but I do wish I had some uh, washers or a uh, fitting imperial spanner that's tight enough for now <laughs> cannot even move the uh, spindle So something definitely isn't right. Still no go. and it's free again I guess this is going to be more difficult than I hoped let's uh, install the other uh, end cap Did I put it on wrong? That's possible. Yeah, that was the uh, correct orientation. I um, I don't think the uh, cap wants to slip on the lower part of the bolt here. I took a measurement, and there's uh, only uh, the slightest bit of clearance. Either that or I need to uh, move the uh, uh, tapered bearing uh, backwards so it uh, becomes a bit smaller and uh, the cap will fit. That could also be the reason why it's not fitting. But uh, not today. Because it's already after 9 in the evening and I still need to do a whole lot of editing to get this video ready uh, before uh, tomorrow. But I will uh, revisit this uh, spindle another time. But it's already clear to me that it's going to be difficult to get this thing to uh, spin nicely. Alright, that's it for me. Till next time. Now you can look at some pictures from the uh, Rolling Metal photo album. While His uh, Lofty Highness does his yearly state of the uh, channel address. Hello, it's me again. Rolling Metal. The president of the channel doing his yearly state of the channel speech. Actually it's more like a talk. For a speech you need a uh, real life audience. <clears throat> I would like to say that the uh, state of the channel is fine. Just like uh, last year. But looking at the uh, few numbers it has actually been in a slow decline. Ever since I switched on advertising at the end of uh, 2018. Last month was uh, particularly bad, but uh, my newest video has done rather well, so hopefully the uh, worst is over. But you never know with this uh, game. Having had some relative success in the uh, third quarter last year, it is rather disappointing 
if you're not able to repeat that success and it can get to you and for me it was a lot more frustrating than when I uh, started the channel and videos got only a few dozen views I guess I was hoping or maybe even expecting that uh, views would get up once I had given YouTube permission to place ads on my videos and then I would make a handsome sum in no time and buy a milling machine unfortunately it looks like that's not going to happen at least not this year but like I've said before that's okay I don't really need a milling machine for making videos but I assure you it will happen at some point even if I have to build it myself or maybe have the Mexicans do it and make the Chinese pay for it the Banggood Affiliates program has been another source of uh, frustration even though they have uh, finally given me that 2% uh, bump in commission I deserved earnings are down again from almost 50 in January to about 10 euro in the last month and I can't shake the feeling that there is something wrong with that program I am not making significantly more money than when I uh, joined the affiliates program even though I have more than 10 times as many uh, subscribers now on the other hand I'm not a good salesperson and I do keep telling you guys not to buy any more crap you don't really need for my sake seriously don't there is already way too much junk in this world I am surprised that they are still willing to give me uh, free test samples as according to their own statistics I am not making many sales for them but I admit it's good fun to get something for free and make a video about it and looking at the uh, success of my latest video the viewers that you guys also like it having said that I did buy myself some toys to celebrate this uh, birthday so look forward to another color review and also I finally bought a uh, quick change tool post actually I bought two but more about that another time as you might know last year around Christmas time my newish Chinese uh, frequency drive died with a flash and a bang since then the uh, 30 plus year old Alan Bradley drive has made a uh, successful comeback but apparently not to everyone's enjoyment because some people actually offered me money to have it uh, destroyed others have suggested I start a uh, patreon account have a fundraiser on a site like uh, GoFundMe or accept uh, PayPal donations and uh, replace that damn frequency drive I do like the idea of Patreon and I might actually try it at some point but for now I don't want the extra work to make dedicated videos for the uh, Patreons and I think a fundraiser is more for uh, serious stuff than a hobbyist that likes making videos but I guess I can uh, accept uh, some donations after all the big boys like Mr. Pete, Abom and uh, Keith Rocker also do this so I have uh, set up one of those PayPal donate buttons on the uh, channel's homepage and if enough uh, people throw a dollar in the head I will no longer terrorize you with the uh, glorious harmonic noises of the uh, vintage Alan Bradley uh, frequency drive and I will see if I can have it uh, tested to death by Mr. Avey like uh, someone suggested please don't overdo it I will send that money straight back to you now you may have heard stories about your president leaving his job and getting impeached for some random bullshit I'll tell you it's all fake news faker the fake news probably coming from my competitors and enemies not sure who they are but rest assured the FBI will start a full investigation and there will be a report a big one seriously it will be huge but in the meantime rest assured I will complete my term and probably seek a re-election next year of course that uh, election is just for show because you should know this is not a uh, democracy that's just a made up word to make people think they are in charge well we all know that the uh, president of the channel is in charge that's all till next year and may the tool god bless the channel Ooh, un cadeau 
for me. Guess uh, who's going to do some unboxing tonight? <laughs>